Hello and welcome to another Lead Code Solution video. This is problem number 32, longest valid parentheses. For this problem, we're given a string containing just the characters open parentheses and close parentheses. Return the length of the longest valid well-formed parentheses substring. For example, one, we're given an input string of open parentheses, open parentheses, close parentheses. The output for this would be two. That is because the longest valid parentheses substring is open and close parentheses, which has a length of two. For example, two, we're given an input string of close parentheses, open parentheses, close, open, close, close parentheses. The output for this would be four. And that is because the longest valid parentheses substring is open, close, open, close. And for example, three, we're given an empty string. So our output would be zero as there's no valid parentheses substring. Let's go through an example. For this example, our string is open, open, close, open, open, close, close parentheses. For this problem, we're gonna be using a stack and we're going to be pushing our index onto the stack if we have an open parentheses and we're gonna pop the current index from the stack if we have a close parentheses. But when we have a close parentheses, if the stack is empty, we're then gonna push our current index onto the stack but if it's not empty, we're gonna calculate our current max length of our valid set of parentheses. And we'll calculate our max length of the valid parentheses by doing our current index minus the most recent index on our stack. So starting off, we have an open parentheses, so we'll push our current index onto the stack and we'll move on to the next index. We have another open parentheses, so we'll push this index onto the stack as well. And now we'll wanna move on to our next index. We have a close parentheses, so we'll wanna pop our most recent value from our stack. And now since our stack is not empty, we'll calculate our max length. And our max length is equal to our current index, i minus the top value on our stack, which is stack of negative one. And this is equal to two minus zero, which is equal to two. And now we'll move on to our next index. It's an open parentheses, so we'll push three onto our stack and we'll move on to our next index another open parentheses so we'll push four onto our stack now we have a close parentheses so we'll pop our top value off our stack and since our stack is not empty we'll calculate our max length and our max length is five minus three which is equal to two it's the same as our original max length so we'll keep two and now at our final index, we have another close parentheses, so we'll pop our top value and we'll calculate max length again since our stack is not empty. And our max length is going to be six minus zero, which is equal to six. And since six is our greatest max length we saw, that'll be our output. Let's jump into the code. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is define our stack and our max length. Now we'll wanna loop through our string. Now I want to check to see if we have an open or a closed parentheses. If we have an open parentheses, we'll append it onto our stack. If we have a closed parentheses, we'll want to pop our top value off our stack. And now we'll check to see if our stack still has values on it. If it does not, we'll want to push our current index onto the stack. Otherwise, we'll calculate our max length. And our max length will be equal to i minus our top value on the stack. But since we wanna have the largest length we've seen so far, we'll use the max function to take whichever is greater, our previous max length or our current max length. And now we're done looping, so we can just return our max length. And that's it for the code, so let's run this. All test case passed, so let's submit. Our solution was accepted, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video and want to see more content like it, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.